Swish mug. Hello, Internet. I'm back with another game I worked on. But wait, what's this? A light switch? What am I supposed to do here? Ah, now I know how to play. Okay, so this is Presto Stato. Um, so this was a fun little project between me and Sean Rugg uh, while all the lockdown shenanigans have been going on. Um, so as you could probably tell by the aspect ratio, uh, we designed this primarily for mobile. And that's kind of cool because the last project I worked on was the mobile port of Pothole Panic, which was never originally designed for mobile. So. I don't know, this felt like a lot more natural, I think, to work on. Uh, this has been out for like a week, but oh, there are two modes now. I'm going to pick careless mode because I'm careless. Um, so, yeah. You know, it, it's a lot easier for me to just play this rather than try to explain what the game is, because I think it will be kind of evident eventually. Um... So yeah, we wanted to make something, and I'm being like intentionally crap at this for now. Um, the idea is to kind of really go as fast as possible, because otherwise that happens. Um, Tum is my initials, apparently. I wish that was true. I'm not sure what my middle name would be. I can't think of any names beginning with you. Um, so, you know, I'm going to just call myself Tom. This is always what I used to do in like arcades when you have like the three initials. I would never like use my initials. I would just like write Tom. <laughs> it's just you know that was just always what I did. So there we go. I am rank one thousand two hundred and fifty nine for careless mode. Um, so these these scores are pretty crazy. Um, and so basically, what happens is so. When you're playing on careless mode, it doesn't really matter if you tap on the wrong thing. Like you can, it, you, you won't get penalised. Like you won't obviously progress to the next level, but you will. You can just kind of like tap all over the place and get lucky. <laughs> so um, all of those kind of all of these high scores you see here are pretty much people using that tactic. Um, and there are levels where you have to like drag and stuff as well. So it's not like. You, you know, you still need a lot of skill to get this far, but it's more of like an endurance thing almost. So that's why we added in careful mode. So careful mode will penalize you uh, if you do the wrong thing. You gotta do the right thing. Or consequences will never be the same. That doesn't really make sense. Yeah, well, doesn't matter. So I'm gonna do careful mode now and I'm gonna try and be careful. Oh, this this one's horrible. I, that wasn't my idea, by the way. That level with the hand coming out, just 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 putting that out there. I'm gonna try and speed up a bit because I'm I am not used to playing it this slow. So yeah, we basically just want we just like threw out a list of ideas. Um, we wanted like things that could be turned on, <laughs> um, and then we just like went out from there and just had a bunch of weird ideas. Sean did all the art, so a lot of it is kind of just him having an idea and then drawing it, and then I'm like, okay, yeah, we'll use that. Um, so we just wanted to make a game. Um, obviously, WarioWare is, like, the big comparison that everyone's going to kind of bring up. Um, but also, like, just, just, like, stuff, really silly, kind of simple games like, like Bop It. I'm not sure if people remember Bop It. Um, this kind of like reaction thing because this this moves really really fast. I guess that's kind of the key difference between this and like WarioWare. Like it's 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 so fast that it's purely kind of like react to this, click click click. And I guess once you've practiced a few times, you've probably seen most of the levels, so you can get faster and faster. At least that's the idea. Um, yeah, so careful mode is new. There aren't so many scores yet on there. Um, so I do think careful mode um, is going to be better balanced. We give you slightly more time at the start, but if you click on the wrong thing, you will... Well, I'll show you what happens if you click on the wrong thing. 
it goes no. no. So uh, you do have to kind of know what you're doing, but I think it'll be better balanced for people who kind of want to compete without uh, like completely destroying their thumbs from tapping on so many things for so long. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the game, basically. Um, check it out. Uh, it's on iOS, it's on Android, Google Play Store. Um, it's also on itch.io, which is good if you want to play it on a desktop browser. But if you are on mobile, definitely do check out the apps because it's just going to be better on the app uh, than playing it in the mobile browser, if that makes sense. Um, although I'm playing a dev version right now because I didn't want to record off my phone, so yeah. Let's see what else is there in this game. By the way, this thing with the two new modes, um, that's rolling out to iOS and Android um, whenever those stores approve it. So right now, this is on the HTML5 itch version. Um, it'll be on the mobile versions pretty soon. So if you don't see it yet, then you're stuck being careless for now. <laughs> But it's coming soon. Check out this settings menu. Performance mode. Turn this off if your phone is slow and old. Um, there's a bit of a boring technical story why we added this in. Um, I'm not going to explain that now because, well, it's kind of boring for this sort of video. Um, I also really love the idea of having a settings menu and there only being one thing to change. Because that always used to like annoy me in games. So when I brought up the idea of we should just have one setting, we kind of like did it as a joke. Which makes me wonder if other kind of games have done that before as well, like, let's make a settings menu! Oh, there's only one thing to change, great. Um, I just really love the music and the visual of this guy running. <laughs> as I said, all of, the, all of the art, all of the music and stuff, that's all done by Sean, so... Um, go and buy his... Etsy prints and stuff, I guess. That's that's my um, little advertising for Sean. Um, yeah, presto starto. Let's, let's play a bit more and see if anything interesting comes out from my uh, random monologuing. I clicked on the wrong thing. Oh, this one's... I like, I like making that, the shake, the shake level. Alright, this one, look, I bothered to like make the physics for this light switch. No one's ever gonna see that because you're just supposed to pull it down instantly. I don't know why I bothered. Like it was just like a couple of hours of time that I didn't need to spend. That would, ah, well I lost. See, that's what happens when I'm playing around with my own like fancy codes that didn't need to be there. Let's do one more. I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna try and do really good. Uh, I say that, I'm not doing good at all. I'm not used to playing it with a mouse. And it's quite hard to do a commentary when you're actually trying as well. Ah! You actually get a little boost every tenth level, the finger at the bottom, that's kind of the timer, goes slightly further back, so... I don't know, that's just like a little thing, it doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm doing... I'm not doing great, am I? I just... I just want to try and get further on this video, because I want to prove that I'm, like, better at... better at this than I am being... Okay... I think it's because I'm playing it full screen as well that makes it harder to reach certain things and I keep clicking on the wrong thing oh god Oh, 
Oh no. Come on. At least let me get to like 50 or something. 50 would be good. I'd be satisfied with that. Come on! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I wasn't even trying to do that as like a joke. Okay, well I got 49. That'll do for now. Um, please try out Presto Starto. See if you can beat my pathetic scores that I just got. Especially in careful mode. You can get, try careless if you if you really want to try <laughs> to rank yourself in this uh, in this craziness. Okay, yeah. So that's that is Presto Starto. I hope I hope you all check it out. And Fishmug Games, which is our new um, team name, I guess. <laughs> I was planning to take a break from making games, but there's a new GMTK jam coming up, so, well, we'll see how that goes. Okay, well, that is all I have for you today. Presto Starto! Play the brand new mobile video game, Presto Starto! Complete as many actions as possible within the time limit. Ha! Ooh! Ooh! Swan! Ha! Oh, 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 oh,